we are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, back to you. Hello and welcome to the last game of the European Inner Ultimate Championship. It's finals day. We've got the last final for you. Mixed Estonia, a region that is rather well known for their good inner play, facing Great Britain, who are, well, way no known for their good frisbee. Right? Not necessarily in Nord, but yeah, two very different teams that are facing off today. My name is Christina Obermeyer. I'm joined by Benjamin Rees. Benji, how are you today? Pretty, pretty good. I can't believe we're already at the end of a weekend. I think this is our 61st game across three days. Got to love indoors, haven't you? And yes, yes. For those, <laughs> those of you unfamiliar with, uh, with kind of European indoor ultimate, you might be looking and thinking, well, Great Britain, you know, they're in the World Games. They're at the top of Europe all the time. Surely there should be a shoe in, but oh no. But Great Britain, the fourth seeds coming into the tournament. Estonia, the second seeds. And they've looked pretty good for it as well. Both sides undefeated for Great Britain. 17-3 over Turkey and then 14-10 over Latvia in the pool. A 16-13 quarterfinal win over Poland before dispatching Slovakia. 16-8 in the semi-finals. Estonia haven't really necessarily been pushed that much. 17-8 wins over Lithuania, 16-11 win over Austria in the pools, and have relatively strolled through the bracket. 17-7 against, Lith against Lithuania, and 15-10 and against Finland. It's been a little bit of a breeze for them almost, and for a side of this quality, that's, that's really saying something. I'll tell you, on paper, it looks like the Finland-Estonia game was a breeze, but it was a hard-fought match. And many voices have said that this should have been a final, Finland against Estonia, because both of these teams are so used to playing indoors, whereas Britain In, also... We, we, we play indoors, but it's not necessarily with right? the same comp level of competition. It's taken more as a, as a compliment, uh, a way to kick back while still playing Frisbee. But this GB team have got something cooking this week and they've turned it on. Thompson to start. GB off on offense. Cheng gets backpacked by an Estonian player. I think he's just focusing on Josh East. Just focusing on Josh East coming through and wasn't aware that Cheng was right in front of him and absolutely clattered her. Disc will stay with her. Bruin. Back to Cheng. Gordon Cheng working in the handler set. Looking for options. East now for the reset. Brewing up the line again. East milking it just in front of the end zone. Doesn't get any options really. 
Newbury to Chang for the first goal for GB. Chang, one of the captains of this great Britain side. And one of the quirks of coming from the UK is that a lot, pretty much the entirety of the Great Britain squads were on, were on the same plane as us and they were kind of cautiously optimistic about their chances. That's a really good way to start the final. Newbury slinging that blade around for Cheng. By the way, her first goal of the tournament, a couple of four assists, but that's her first goal. And everyone from Great Britain has now got at least one assist and at least one goal. So they're really spreading the scores around the roster. It's good to see Scott teams utilizing their depth. That looks like it. Her also being in charge of organizing this whole team. She chose some great, some great, great players here as Estonia with their first look at offense and defense by Edwards just running through that disc, hucking to pick up take now inside shot to Edwards who flies through but that disc flies through her as well hits the back wall what a bookends that would have been for Edwards had she come up with it Tate utilizing those long limbs to get around the mark but he just put way too much on that backhand for Edwards Lemba to Tara Lembergen unmarked. Ja Jacob Tam with a big hammer into the end zone for Lauritz. And that's the first score for Estonia. A bit of a shaky start, but adds one to the already huge personal stats of Jakob Tam. Uh, that is now 18 assists and 16 goals. Imagine leading your team in goals and assists. That's, that's just the sort of thing he does. Tam is probably from the male matching play out players, the standout. Yeah, whereas Terra, who we saw man get that first O-line um, opening, she's Estonia's women's side's leader in stats and also most important player. GB back on offense here. Boone. Easty with Josh East with a bit of a yeah, ballerina put, turn. He put Luritz in the spin cycle there. Yeah, he did. Becky Thompson to East. GB not at a lot of options. Big disc collected by East. They're moving only backwards now, the GB. Cheng. To Bruin. They're in their own end zone now. East has to take an injury sub here and he's not happy about it. No, I wouldn't be. Didn't see what happened. Whether he just felt something or whether they picked up a he knock somewhere. He has a bandage on his foot. And then obviously that's you know, got to hurt mentally as well as physically, I guess. Trying to get yourself geared up for the final and got obviously it just feels like he can't necessarily give it everything at the moment. We'll see if he comes back into the play. Something to monitor. Still in their own end zone, RGB. And they're... They look very cluttered, like there's a lot of people. It's very in, messy at very the moment. It feels space. like they're not, everyone's not quite sure what the plan is. Patterson. Miscommunication, it looked like it at least, but Chang, quick to collect that, and Becky Thompson with the continuation gives GB that well no needed score. It, it wasn't pretty from Great Britain. Let's, let's not pretend that it was. But they were able to get themselves out of tight jams, especially thinking about that scuba from Wilson that went high and then came down in the hands of Patterson. 
and Cheng just sees the opportunity, decides we've got to have some more verticality to the offense. We can't keep it this compressed. So stretching the field, Thompson catching for the score, puts GB up 2-1. The Estonian coach told me before the game that they wanted to make everything hard, make the little resets and the little things GB normally does so easily, really hard, and fight for every single one of them. And that's exactly what they did. Big put just in front of the end zone. No. To Andre. Fakes and gets the reset. No, Logan Raba gets that disc just inches away from the out of bounds area. Do Estonia know this is indoors? Because that big huck did not feel like an indoorsy throw. It wasn't particularly high, and often you run the risk of that being blocked, but it was well judged over the head of Lewis. And then this one, oh, that is tight, but you can see that it's inbounds, and it was signaled as so by the uh, Great Britain players nearest to it. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look at it again as well. I mean, the focus and concentration to know that you're probably going to hit that wall hard, and yet Rubber still hung on to it. A big hammer goes up for GB. <laughs> Bruin and Lelorg. Since when has the crowd ever liked any call? I repeat this. It's the two number 12s up against each other. Oh, and he has it. He, he's touching the disc. The question is if he would have had the disc if there was no contact whatsoever or if, that, if, if the contact came after. Hmm. Really hard to say. We do have a replay of it. But. Contested Good. foul. Another result that the crowd loves. Let them talk it out, everyone. I don't see the point in booing around as a crowd. Like it doesn't achieve it and doesn't achieve anything. It is fun though. Yeah, but not a frisbee <laughs> game. Like if you want to watch football or something, do it. But you can heckle as much as you want, but not in a frisbee game. Cheng to Bruin Thompson back to Bruin, and they're really. They really have to work hard for every single pass. Cheng somehow holds on to that disc. Newbury overshoots. That's what Estonia wanted to say. You're not going to get the easy shots. You're going to have to grind at every point and eventually will bore the mistake out of you. Lead. And a big hammer goes up to the score for the score. Tambats with the collection. Estonia break. First break of the game. Going Estonia's way. Feel like that the def with that defensive pressure, GB had to be more, uh, maybe a bit more positive, more aggressive. And you see Estonia being rewarded for just that with Varblas over the top into the end zone, hitting Tambets for the score. Tambets hasn't even been playing for so long, only for two years, two and a half years. He says this is probably the highlight of his ultimate career. And if they could come back with a gold medal, I don't think it, that, might, that might ever be knocked off. Wilson. To Lewis. Edwards. You've seen Wilson, Lewis and Edwards do that dominator handler set. All tournament long and excelling at it. Edwards finds Lewis up the line. Close to the, nearly getting a block there as Tam Tate 
Puts it up for Lewis, and Lewis gonna scoop it over the top for Wong. Nifty shot from one side of the end zone to the other. Again, the Estonians, they're just breathing down British necks the whole way. And Tam senses the opportunity to strike, but he doesn't quite get there. It gives Tate that freer option, makes it easier to get it down the line. And then Lewis with the one and one in the end zone. How do you get it to the break side? I mean, I'd like the thumber, but that never comes. The scuba just sits it over the head of the defender, leading Wong into the space. Great Britain equalise at 3 all. Lauritz to Lemba. Josh East, after coming off injured earlier, is back out there now for GB. Lemba to Lauritz, the two of them working in the handler set. And a hammer over the top. Tumbled. That disc jumping in and out of his hands. I thought, he, I thought they judged it well. You could see he's got the clear foot up and just absolutely span us the catch. Yeah, he probably focused on his feet a little too much. First break opportunity for GB. Big disc goes up high and too high and out of bounds. That's the first time Chen's put a foot wrong, really, because in the first three points, she's been brilliant assisting, scoring, and making some really tricky grabs. That one just put too much air underneath. Lemba wants the upside down shot. Goes for the easy reset, though. Aber very open. Ask for the disc. And flying through British defense. Might just have done enough. It does. You flash across the field of vision. You lose sight of the disc even for a split second. And it's a gamble for Bruin that paid off. Patterson. To Bruin. Cheng on the far side, trapped. Easy relief for East. Foul called by the offense. Lemba maybe getting a little bit handsy. Accepted. Little discussion between the two, and the disc will come back in. This goes back to Brun. Utilize the offhand backhand there well. Cheng to Newbury. Newbury with the hammer over the top, and Lemba runs in front, but he scores a foul. Regardless of the outcome of the discussion, I'm not sure about the choice of shot from Newbury because there wasn't really the separation that I would have liked to see between East and Lemba. Let's we'll see a replay here. East is covered well by Lemba. It might be a bit of a risky shot, but we know the kind of player he is and he probably would have gotten that against most defenders. Just Lemba in a very good position. Yeah, you can probably find better opportunities to shoot it than that. Violation, another stoppage. I think he's saying that he called contact, and that should mean that Lemba drops to zero on the stool. Regardless of the validity of the calls, it's not really getting the crowd on their side. No, but it's never about getting the crowd on your side. I do think they're cheering for anything. And I, that is a throwaway for a GP that gives the disc back. 
to Estonia. Baba. Now with the disc, Lauritz to Andre. Andre over the top to Lemba. Back to Lauritz. Not marked yet is Lauritz. Very open for the reset. Hammer over the top into the ground. Miscommunication. This is turning into a bit of a hell point. 17 minutes nearly gone on the clock. Indeed. And it's only three apiece. This is a far cry from a lot of the quick pace that we've seen all weekend. Well, it is quick paced. Just nobody gets the score in the end. Bruin. To Chang. East. Working down that line. Newby. Now they're finally using more than just one third in width. Patterson. Back to East. And a flick played into the end zone. Three Estonian players surrounding Bruin, putting enough pressure on him. They were very vocal about what they wanted. They wanted to get Bruin in the end zone, give him that break side shot. But again, just because that's what you want, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's there. And there is a window, but you have to get it pinpoint perfect. The way this game's been played, I don't think it's the kind of game for that. And a big D, redeeming his earlier mistake. Is East. Losing a lot of yards on that swing. To Chen, to Newbury. And a big miscommunication for the Brits will give the, give the Estonians a very short field. Lemba frustrated that no one goes for the quick score, but now they do. Raba collects that with one foot down in the end zone. I think both sides, in a way, wanted that point to win. It didn't matter who, because it was dragging on and dragging on. Raba in the end gets her second goal of the game. But sometimes when it goes, when it's such a grind like that, you feel that maybe we're just better off getting a fresh five out there, letting those players get a rest, and I'm sure there'll be some uh, pointed discussions on the side on the sidelines for both teams about how they can clean it up. I mean, yeah, of course, but you want to get that break back, right? Yeah, so oh, down yeah. A, down I mean, a break? you never, you never, you never concede it. You would never voluntarily concede it, but maybe it's not such a bad thing. Edwards, at the brink of her own end zone, manages to catch that disc. Movement from Lewis. With some relief. Wilson. To Edwards. The three of them in the hand, Loewe. They've been executing so well during that weekend. Lewis to Wilson. Up the line to Hocking. Hocking goes back two thirds of the field to Lewis. Wong getting off now. Wilson. Cheeky scuba to Wilson. Lewis, rather. Back to Wilson. Wong. Fakes the scuba. Goes for the around. And a big scuba over the top to Edwards. A clean hold for Great Britain. An outrageous throw that from Sam Wilson. Really upends it high into the air, but he hits that all important break side space for Edwards. It was such a key part of Lemmings making their first ever EUCF earlier 
this year. And you can see what the Estonian plan is. Just do not let them get those quick points. Make them have to grind it out every single time they take the field. They've got a slightly larger roster, and the advantage of that is you can really just wear opponents down. That's exactly what they're doing here. Tom, high grab for Estonia. Raba lets everyone know she's very open to Terra. Fakes the hammer, goes back around. Andre with the hammer this time around and Terra wide open for the score. Beautiful Job done for there. Estonia. Just they're creating those isolations so much better. But still they're running into each other. I've I am surprised at how much they are struggling to isolate players here. Because GB's defense, while they are grinding, they're not nearly as close as the Estonian defenses on the other hand. And so I do think that with a little more structure on the Estonian side, they would be even quicker to score those goals. You know Helen Terra is going to get you eventually. Oh, it's yeah, the first course. goal of the game. Only your first one, but there haven't been as many goals, right? No, it would, it would surprise you probably if it's her last. Hello, a little bit of zone now from the Estonian defense. Stopping that three-handler weave structure. Playing 2-2-1, two, two, as Wilson and Lewis. Won't let them themselves be stopped. Hawking this time, running with them. Lewis to Wilson. Wong. Just in front of the end zone now. Hawking. Back to Lewis. Really making use of the space they're given. Wilson. To Lewis and he had an easy shot, but takes the slightly harder one to Wong, who positioned herself perfectly. What's that old saying? Patience is a virtue. That's what zones like to do. They want to make you dink and dunk it. Just can you continually keep resetting? You know, you get close to the end zone. Does your aggression get the better of you? 26 passes later, Sophie Wong just She's not too explicit about it, which is good because it allows her to sneak through. She tried the same trick earlier, but they went back into the backfield. This time, Andy Lewis spots it in the peripheral vision over the top. Wong holds her position well to take us back to even at fives. Estonia, however, that one break up. Still the game's only break. Lemba goes knife to Tom. And he's going to send one of his own to Terra, but it's too far. If there's any connection you wouldn't want to see for Great Britain, it's Tam to Terra. But that time, for whatever reason, pressure, intensity, he just got the throw wrong. Final jitters, maybe. Thompson. To East. Up the line. GB again working in one third of the field in terms of width. Going back now and a miscommunication. And this throw gives a very short field to Estonia. And the worst thing about that pass is that it slid all the way towards the end zone. Yep. And there you go. Another point on the board for Estonia and for Tam's personal stats. Yeah, his third assist of the game. Just picks it up on the end zone line one pass score and you could tell the problem was that Ben Broom was right on that sideline the force senses that and thinks okay we can flatten right the way up here just make him have to swing get it really far out in front very lateral across that sideline and when you're so close to the wall when you've got the bench right there as well you just feel that extra bit more claustrophobic
fucking. Goes back to Wilson. Inside shot that is just too high for Wong to collect and Estonia, her, their pressure just pays off finally. GB do fe it feels like GB is in a bit of a rush. Fabulous. Gets the reset and Tate gets that right off into Edwards for the score. It's Ian Tate's birthday tomorrow, so they had a little celebration. I think they'll have an even him. bigger one tonight if they win, if they bring back the gold medal as well. Look at Tate here. He's baiting that a little bit and he uses those go-go gadget arms as the throws ever so slightly offline. And Edwards, you see, she recognizes it. She sees that he's going to steal through and she's on the march into the end zone, gets in front of Varblas and makes it six apiece. This game is so tight, Christina. It really is. That's what you expect from a mixed final, isn't it? Tom. Into the middle to Terra. Lemba. Goes for the hammer to Tom, and that's a D. I, I, I think they want the mop. Uh, if there is one, well, I've got no idea where it is. Oh, someone's found one. Lemba, ever so helpful. If this is what legitimacy looks like, I'm all on board. Result of the play is a turn, I think. Yeah, it is. It was a layout defense. Patterson flying through. And Thompson to pick up. Patterson looks for an option. Finds East. There is a spade, Thompson. Back to Patterson. East thinks about the big shot. Goes up the line instead. Not a very clear structure for the British side, but Thompson now opens it up to Chang. And that's another break on the board. Yeah, Great Britain's first to bring us back on Sorry. serve. My, my fault. They're back on serve. What Estonia was so good at that point is that there were a few opportunities where they could have had those shots to the break side, but they had players just take steps off. They say, fine, you can have the under. We'll let that in order to prevent the shot going, which just fits into the Estonian ethos at the moment. But eventually, they finally got the true one-on-one. -on -one. Cheng taking the initiative in the end zone up against Rabba. Thompson slings the bait. Great Britain in front and a timeout called. Yeah, so we'll give the players a minute of rest and we'll take a short break as well and we'll be back with you in a second. We are back here with you after the timeout. Back on serve as well. Estonia, not quite the performance we've thought they would give us. 
No, Estonia Did haven't been in a real dogfight necessarily yet this tournament. And that's what they've got here against Great Britain. So that pulls a little bit too high and will be bricked. We talked about how, how hard Estonia are making it for Great Britain. Great Britain, they're, no, they're not exactly being a slouch defensively either. No, they're not. Definitely not. Working really hard for every pass. Tom. Goes back to Lauritz. Raba. Big hammer over the top. Looks like a bailout option. Many players underneath and then Terra gets that and I don't even know why I'm surprised. She is such an impeccable player. If, and if somehow you, uh, you've you been living in a hole for the past however many years and you weren't aware, it's all right. But let us tell you now, as if that didn't abundantly illustrate it, Helen Terra is the goddamn truth. Unbelievable, absolutely zero right to come up with that. And then the composure afterwards, so just Pop the knife in for the score. Unreal. Unreal ultimate from she Terra. She has every right to come up with that because it was anyone's disc. And she made sure it was hers. Oh, this is not about size. I just mean that it's thrown into a really congested area. That tight to the sideline to not only catch it, but to make sure you're in bounds. Yeah, Helen Terra is just amazing. I got the pleasure of playing with her for half a year because she lived in Austria. She was playing with Box in yeah, this post-top season. And yeah, it's just, I think one of the... One of my favorite players to play with and the best player I've ever played on a line on a team. I'll be honest, I've never played with Alan Terra, but I imagine it's pretty fun. Oh yeah, it is. Back to live action. As East gets the reset, puts it into Thompson. Thompson with the hammer. And Wilson gets that goal for Great Britain. That felt a lot cleaner for Great Britain. They were have forced to put to put a few resets up, yes. But this time, they got that one-on-one -on -one a little bit earlier. You see there the defender peel off to try and get it. But Sam Wilson, excellent focus. Thompson really wellies this one, gives her all into it. I'll tell you what, that's not bad from the poached defender there. But Wilson with a toe drag swag as well. 8 7, Great Britain lead. Under 10 minutes left in this contest. It's not been the offensive clinic that we've seen in some games this weekend, but it's so enjoyable for so many other reasons. Absolutely true. Robert Terra nearly poached off by Edwards. Lemba. To Tam. Terra, very open again in the middle. To Andre. Goes hammer to Tam. And even the big man Ian Tate can't really do anything against Jakob Tam. Speed kills, but this time it's not necessarily speed across the floor. It's speed in the play. They keep the disc moving quickly. It means that the defenders, you're trying to orbit. You're constantly adjusting your position. And that time, they see the time for the knife over the top. And we've talked about, you know, the length that Tate has. But couldn't do anything about that. Eight apiece. Another galaxy point. You love, love to see it, Christina. Oh, I absolutely do. I love tight games and especially in a final when you know those teams are just Neck on neck. It's pretty great. That's the phrase. On the colour hand! Callahan to get half! What a way to get a break. Only the second one for Estonia, but at a point where it really, really counts. I don't think I've ever, in all my years of doing this, seen a galaxy point like that. No, me Thompson neither. catching at the back of the end zone. Good pull. We've seen Estonia constantly try and pin Great Britain deep with that. And Patterson begins to come through to the open side. Thompson thinks he's sticking in that space and just throws it right into the clasps of the Estonia defender. Have a look here on the replay. Lordy Lore, it's coming in. I mean. Tom Salo. It is Tom Salo. It's 45, not 43. Excuse me. 
Oh, it's I just Salu. don't want to praise the wrong person for this impeccable play, Tom Salu. And I do think I have to take a short breather yeah. for this. 100%. It is halftime. Teams are going to recollect their energy for a five-minute second half. But we, we will take a short break as well and be back with you in a few seconds. We are back live here, mixed final action. And after an end to a very intense first half, there's not too much time left for second half, but it's going to be it's going to be so much energy there. How did Great Britain pick themselves up for the Galaxy Point Callahan that feels even worse because Estonia are receiving now to begin the second half. Tom, to Lemba. And a big hammer goes up. Ian Tate is under it, but so is Tom. And they get their hold to make it a 10 to 8 lead over Great Britain. There is a postage stamp in the back corner of that end zone where this disc has to be thrown to prevent Tate getting it. And he comes underneath, tries to get it early, but he couldn't do it. And Tam just toes it in that back corner. Ian Tate's so close to that disc, but not quite there. Unfortunately for Great Britain, close isn't close enough anymore. They need to get their hands on these. Even if it's just the smallest of fingertips, anything will do. Pin in the back of the end zone. Hammer to Edwards. Lewis dancing around. Hammer to Wilson and a pop into the end zone for Tate. Valiant effort from the defense, but Tate surely caught his hands around that disc. Yeah, Amelia Edwards looks a little bit frustrated earlier on that she wasn't seeing a bit more, but she picked the right option, leading that hammer towards the break side for Wilson. And Wilson senses the moment to strike. He really punches this one in to Tate, past the bidding defender who definitely gets Tate on his way through as well. And that's what Great Britain needed. Get a nice quick hold in there so you can go back out on defense. Try and earn back those breaks that you need. And they need two now. Lauritz to Tom. Foul call downfield. Thompson colliding with Andre. This will be back with Tom. Lauritz finds Raba in a lot of space. Tom slips, goes to Lauritz and set. And a hammer again. Same thing for Estonia. Tam with the goal. This is what you want. You want your big players to come at their biggest in the biggest games, the biggest moments. At flatter on the force. It allows the, the break side shot down that far sideline. Lori Loritz. Nails the execution again. Josh East knows that there's nothing he can do. Just about a minute before the cap comes on. Can Estonia hold out? Can GB find a way to fight back? The Estonians absolutely 
the favourites from this point. Yeah, looks like they're putting on a power line now. Terra and Tom crossing over. Wilson. To Edwards. GB in their end zone in their own one. Lewis. It's back. Loads of pressure on the GB side. Close call and Vablas gets a piece of Edwards who looks shaken up. Uncontested foul. She always kept possession off the disc. Wilson. To Wong. Oh, and a hand block from Tara! What a way to get your team on your back. Just about when time runs out. Vablas to Tom. Lemba, rather, and a blade to Tom for the score. And Estonia go up to 12 to 9. Yeah. And with the Hooter going on during that point, game to 13, it's Estonia's to lose from here on out. And Helen Terra, we've seen her have those signature plays on offense. The score, that ridiculous grab in our right hand, just out of their right hand end zone that she then popped in. And now jumping up, using all of her reach to hand block the hammer. That's just unfair. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm so impressed with her. And for Estonia, you've got four chances to win this now. Patterson. Finds East up the line. Back to Bruin. Patterson, again. The Estonians are on the backs of the Brits here. And a miscommunication gives the disc to Estonia to lose it again right away. Thompson will pick it up and slice a blade through for the British score. Patterson collects. You know, it's really fitting. Thompson should have gotten that cut. It was deed. And yeah, she picks it up as if, as if nothing had happened. Yeah, the miscommunication. But uh, the way the first half ended, I think Thompson probably just wanted the universe to swallow her up at that point. So to pick yourself up and go back out there is, is a really tough thing. And it will feel so good for her to feel like she's making a positive impact. Now for Great Britain, they've put in their offense Three breaks in a row is the task. It's tough against an Estonian team of this quality, especially when you've only broken once all game. Hammer, where you could have thrown a back end, but that's fine. Liliorg, through a lot of traffic, gets it. Puts it this guy up in the air for Andre, and she gets it for the score. That is a win for Estonia. They win the European Indoor Championship. That oh. is how you end a tournament. It the, absolutely is. On a hope and a prayer, the floated flick deep. And Andre, I mean, the focus, the toe drag, the, honestly, Estonia, the best team here on the weekend, not just today, but all across the three days of that, there can be no doubt. This was the closest game they'd had all weekend. Oh, it's comfortably in bounds as well. And it wasn't about, you know, being clinical. It wasn't about being, you know, surgical with the offense. It wasn't even necessarily about flying all over the place. In the end, they just got the big plays they needed at the big times. The Helen Terra catch, her hand block, and unfortunately for GB, yeah, the Galaxy Point Callahan. Whenever they needed a big play, Estonia, they found it, and it is a very well-deserved 
gold medal for the Estonians. Absolutely, yes. I think you summed that game up perfectly, Benji. It was a pleasure being here this whole weekend with the OTTV crew, with the Zoom crew, with Hannah Pendlebury, Benjamin Rees, Will Foster, Steve, I don't know your last name, sorry, and Lo Lolo. I can't believe there's no more Ultimate this year. We are done. Ultimate is finished until 2023. What am I going to do for four months? W replays? Watch everything back for free on YouTube. That is true. You can do that. And if that's a mission you want to support, like, subscribe. There's a bell button you ring for notifications. You know what to do by this point. Or if you look back and think, my God, Ulti TV have covered a lot of games this season and that is worth supporting, then you need to get onto the Patreon, patreon.com slash TV or ulti.tv is the website to find more information for as little as a pint of beer, a cup of coffee, a frisbee a month. You can help support grow the game of Ultimate with free live coverage. And I'll tell you what, everyone who has supported, thank you. Everyone who hasn't yet, you need to be here now because there's a whole new season coming around the corner and OTTV is going to be covering more of it than ever. Yeah, they will. So for all of the OTTV crew, for Benjamin Reese. Thank you for watching. I've been Christina Overmeyer, and I hope to hear you again soon. There's no denying what we want